Uh, hello everyone, I uh, hope you are well. I wanted to continue on my legend series uh, and uh, before that I wanted to say a big uh, congratulations uh, to the New Zealand uh, women's team uh, for winning the World Cup. Uh, excellent performances, uh, Halliday and especially Kerr, a lot of all-round performances from Kerr and also well done to South Africa for making the finals, beating Australia in the semi-finals, uh, some great performances as well. And I also want to say congratulations to the New Zealand men's team for beating India in the first test. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's only the third time New Zealand are winning a test match in India. So well done. Uh, today I wanted to give someone uh, who was an amazing batsman, someone who could hit the very first ball of a test match on day one for six and someone who could hit the last ball of of the ma uh, of the day for a six and someone who could hit a six when he was on 199, 299, 99. Uh, someone who had amazing uh, hand-eye coordination, uh, who had an excellent eye, amazing hands and uh, someone who was the first uh, Indian cricketer to be named uh, the Western leading cricketer of the year in 2009 and the only batsman in the cricket history to score 7,500 plus runs as an opener in both Test matches and one day matches. I'm talking about the explosive, destructive uh, Virender Sevag of uh, India. Uh, he was nicknamed Viru and he was born October 20th, uh, 1978, in Delhi. And uh, it was his birthday a couple of days before, so belated happy birthday, greetings to Virender Sevag. And uh, he definitely will go down as uh, one of the most uh, destructive opening batsmen of all time. And especially in test cricket and one day cricket, not just in one day cricket. A lot of uh, great opening batsmen in one day cricket, very destructive batsmen. But uh, Sehwag was just destructive equally in one day years and test matches. In all, he played 104 test matches for India and he scored 8,586 runs uh, at an excellent average. Average of 49.34, almost uh, close to 50, considering the way he played. And he scored 23 centuries, and his highest was uh, 319 versus uh, South Africa that came at the Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai, which is the fastest triple century in uh, uh, cricket history. And he also took uh, 40 wickets uh, in test matches. And in uh, one day matches, he played 251 matches, and he scored 8,273 runs. And he scored 15 hundreds uh, and his highest was uh, 219 that came against uh, West Indies which was only the second double century in uh, one day international history after the first uh, double century by Sachin Tendulkar. And he also took uh, 96 wickets in uh, test cricket. He was a very handy off spinner as well. And uh, Sevak, there are a lot of records in his name. I mean his 319 uh, is the highest uh, individual score by an Indian in Test cricket, the 319, which was a stunning innings uh, that came against South Africa at the Chidambaram Stadium, Chennai, which I saw he was just uh, murdering the South African bowling. And I even remember after the day's play, uh, when the South African bus uh, was going to be driven, uh, I think someone said, uh, asked uh, who is driving the bus, and Callis uh, asked uh, if it is Sevak because Sevag was just driving everything uh, on the uh, that was pitched up that day and uh, he was just absolutely destructive. And uh, Sevag also has another record, like I said, he's the only batsman who has scored more than 7,500 runs in uh, as an opener in test and uh, one day years together. And he also has the best uh, strike rate among every any batsman who has scored at least uh, 2,000 test runs. And his strike rate is an astonishing, astonishing 82.23, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, imagine in test cricket to have a strike rate of 82.23 is uh, crazy, which means every 100 balls he faced, he scored 82 runs. I mean, that is absolutely crazy in test cricket. But that is how Sehwag was. And Sehwag, by the way, uh, scored a test century on his debut against uh, South Africa at uh, Bloemfontein uh, 105. That day he scored against South Africa and he had a big partnership with Sachin Tendulkar. But India lost that uh, test match to South Africa where Sean Pollock uh, took uh, 10 wickets. And Sehwag also once played an absolutely brilliant innings against uh, Australia uh, in 2003 at the MCG Melbourne Cricket Ground on Boxing Day, 26 December. He scored 195, bludgeoned uh, the bowling attack and he got out but unfortunately India collapsed and India also lost that match. And another big uh, innings, I mean his second 100 was at 309 against uh, Pakistan in Multan 
where India posted 675 runs, which was India's highest ever score against uh, Pakistan. And uh, India won that test match by an innings, and he was the man of the match, obviously. And uh, uh, Sehwag uh, was uh, compared a lot uh, to Tendulkar when he started because of his playing style. I mean, the way he was very aggressive and also his build as well. I mean, he almost looked like Tendulkar and his appearance as well. And it was almost like uh, two Sachin Tendulkars uh, were batting at that time. And both of them together were absolutely destructive at the top of the batting. I mean, Sehwag was just amazing. He batted so freely and he was aggressive and he batted the way he wanted. Uh, he batted irrespective of the situation of the match and uh, you never knew what you could you would expect from uh, Sehwag. I mean, he could just, like I said in the beginning, he could hit the first ball of a test match for six and I think he has hit the first ball of this test match for six. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I think I've read like that once. And uh, many times when he was on uh, close to 200 or close to 100, or even a triple 100, I think once he finished, completed it with a six. So that is how Sehwag was. He just couldn't care for any personal records. He just uh, played. He just saw the ball and he just hit the ball. And uh, there is a record that Sehwag has, another big record. I mean, he is one of the only four players in the history of uh, cricket to score two triple centuries in uh, cricket, uh, the other being uh, the great uh, Sir Don Bradman one, Brian Lara two, and then Chris Gale of West Indies uh, and Viranda Sehwag. So it's only four players who have scored two triple centuries in the history of cricket. And there's another uh, big company that uh, Sehwag has. Uh, he's, uh, one, he's one of only two players in the history of cricket to have scored a double century in one day cricket and a triple century in test cricket. Uh, and the other is uh, Chris Gale. Only two of them are the only players who have scored a double century in one-day cricket and a triple century in test cricket. So there's another great record that Sehwag has. And Sehwag had a habit of uh, scoring big centuries. There was once a time when Sehwag's 11 consecutive centuries were converted into 150 plus scores. So that is an amazing achievement that uh, Sehwag had. And Sehwag had that habit when he when he went big, he used to go really big and get big scores, 150 plus, 200 plus, and obviously the couple of triple centuries that he has scored in uh, Test cricket. And uh, Sehwag was obviously part of that uh, 2011 uh, team that won the World Cup. Uh, Sehwag was a major player in that team as well. And uh, he did play for Delhi Daredevils as well. Uh, in uh, IPL and uh, Sehwag is a very strong person. He has his uh, strong comments, opinions about cricket and uh, there's a lot of uh, things to talk about Sehwag and he was really strong on the offside. I have to say he had really powerful square cuts. He was very, very powerful on the square cut. Also had a huge uh, uppercut that he used to play the ball over the slips, over the gully. He used to uppercut the ball. He did that a lot in that uh, innings in South Africa when he scored that 105 on debut at Bloemfontein. I remember watching uh, playing uppercuts. Even Tendulkar played some uppercuts. And he also played the late cut well. And he was very, very strong on the offside and also on the leg side. But he was very powerful on the offside. A lot of players are more leg side oriented. But Sehwag was very powerful through the offside. And he really used to time the ball well. He didn't have a lot of footwork like a lot of the top order batsman but his strength was definitely his hand-eye coordination and his hands that's why i said in the beginning he had amazing an amazing eye and wonderful hands uh, that he could just uh, follow through with the ball and he could just uh, play through the ball i mean he had amazing uh, timing and uh, wonderful hands and he really was uh, the, one of the most if not the most uh, destructive opening batsman uh, in his uh, generation of uh, or in the history of cricket because once when there was a vote uh, who was the most uh, destructive, most uh, feared uh, op batsman uh, in uh, cricket. Uh, I think the poll, the first name that came was uh, Virendra Sehwag. I've read somewhere like that. Uh, so he was uh, not a batsman that bowlers love to bowl to because he could just uh, bludgeon you and uh, he could just uh, murder you on his day. I mean, he didn't care which bowler was bowling, what pitch it was, what situation of the match was. He just saw the ball and he just hit the ball. I mean, uh, almost like a Krishnamachari Srega. So that is uh, some things that I have to say about uh, Virendra Sega Sevag. I uh, hope I haven't missed out on uh, anything. Uh, and that uh, fast, uh, triple century that he scored is the fastest uh, triple century in uh, cricket. Uh, and also, he I think it's the second uh, two, 250, it's the second uh, fastest 250 also that scored. And that 219 against the West Indies was only the second double century after Sachin Tendulkar. So anyway, that is my 
a video on uh, Virender Sehwag, who was uh, one of the most uh, destructive uh, opening batsmen in the history of cricket, someone who batsmen really feared. Uh, so thank you to Virender Sehwag for all the great memories, for the amazing uh, showmanship, for the amazing entertainment that he provided to cricket fans uh, all over the world. Uh, thank you, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless you.